What's good? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. We just watched uh, probably the worst fight I've seen all year. Um, Billy Joe Saunders wins, uh, you know, a wide unanimous decision versus Willie Monroe. And I'm going to say this first. Willie Monroe fought timid, soft as wet tissue. He fought like a pussy. You know, he didn't fight like a guy that wanted to go, you know, get a world title. You got to take it away from the champion. And he went to the champion's backyard. He didn't bring that mentality with him. And like I told you guys, this guy was fragile leading up to the buildup in this fight. And also, you know, he was fragile in the ring tonight. Um, he, he he didn't fight like he wanted it. And I told you guys, whoever the aggressor was, was going to lose. And I pretty much based that off of, um, because neither one of these guys are aggressive fighter. They're more of a sit-back, defensive, counter-punching guys. And really, nobody took control of being aggressive. When Billy Joe Saunders tried to be aggressive, he couldn't find his niche. Then he went back to, you know, you know, sniping and sitting back and trying to just move his hands. Billy Joe Saunders won his fight on activity and moving his hands. Uh, he didn't land a lot of clean shots on Willie Monroe. Uh, but Willie Monroe started to land clean late and like he hurt, you know, Billy Joe Saunders a couple times, slowed him down to the body in the late, late in the fight. Then Bill, uh, Billy tried to get him back with a body shot about the 11th round or 12th, 11th round it was. And um, I don't understand why guys do that, man. You know, guys go to the body late when they feel a guy starting to tire. But if you go to the body early, when he starts to tire, he's going to be triple, quadruple, quintuple, the tired, you know, way more tired. You're going to have an opportunity to knock him out. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders didn't look in his groove tonight. It's not the best that I've seen Billy Joe Saunders. That's two bad outings in a row. And if this was Russell Kersick, he probably would have got knocked out. Um, but we know Kersick got indicted. He got hit with the Rico. Um, and now he came up with this fight. If he fought anybody else um, on this night uh, in the middleweight division, Charlo, Danny Jacobs, um, you know, even the David Lemieux, you know, he would have got his ass whooped. And um, he got to stay more active. You know, a lot of people was, you know, shitting on uh, Billy Joe Saunders in the third I was in, and rightfully so. But I've seen this guy look a lot better. His head movement was good. His defense was good. But his offense, he couldn't find He couldn't find that groove tonight. And Willie Moreau, his defense was good, too. He moved his head. Nobody wanted to take the lead. Like I told you guys, the aggressor was going to lose this fight. And uh, Willie Moreau tried to be the aggressor for a second. It didn't fit. Billy Joe Saunders tried to be the aggressor. It didn't fit. So, basically, we had to sit back. And watch two counter puncher, two counter defensive uh, guys, um, you know, struggle it out. And, and both of these styles didn't mesh. You know, I could have told you that coming in, but I never thought that this fight would be this uneventful, this boring, this horrid. And, um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders need another fight before he thinks about Canelo Triple G. Maybe one or two. Maybe two. Um, because I see him look a lot better than this tonight. Credit to Willie Monroe with his defense, but this guy got to get it together. He got talent. You've seen the head movement. You've seen the defensive ability. He got to get that offense back, man. He got to get that offense back. He can punch a little bit. He's not a feather fisted. He can punch a little bit. But he got to get, he, he got he to gotta be more active. He got to take a week or two off and get back in the gym. You know, get back, stand with Kid Gala, which is Dominic Ingle's hardest worker. You know, get in camp with Kale Brook. He about to go in camp for a December return to get it together. Now, for Willie Monroe, um, Tonight just showed his limitations as an offensive fighter. He's very limited. He doesn't know how to punch. He doesn't know how to generate power from the ground up. He doesn't know how to twerk, twerk, uh, twerk the the hips to, to generate power on the hook. I see him throw one good hook tonight. He's a softball, by the way. Um, other other punches he was throwing that he was just winging punches. You know, just winging them. Like I don't know. He was throwing like a, uh, his his arm would be straight. He just wing a overhand right and left. He don't know how to turn over his hands consistently unless he's on the inside, and he needs he he needs a new coach man or advisor coming in to look over his camp just to teach him how to how to be offensive just to rebuild that offense again because he has zero offense. He's had all that potential but can't punch, and you see why tonight why Willie Monroe can't score knockouts. You absolutely see why he can't get knockout because he doesn't know the fundamentals of how to punch the technique. You know, when he throws straight punches, it's pretty good. His jab can improve. You didn't see him try a straight left too much tonight. Um, he was just trying to wing those overhand, whatever the hell he calls those, thing, those things. I seen him hitting the, the mitts with Floyd Mayweather Sr. for a minute. He needs to go call him and beg that man to come train him. Because the trainer that he got now, the boxing coach he got now, he ain't cutting it. You know, he ain't improving. He got too much athletic potential. 
and too much defensive potential and too much potential to be a great pounder puncher to let that to let that slide. He has to refine his offensive game and become a good counter puncher to add with his defense. Because offensively, he's an F minus. And um, if you didn't catch the end of the fight, um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders' son uh, apologized to William Monroe for punching him in the nuts or kicking him to the nuts as well, or in a private area, whichever is appropriate or whatever one you like. Um, he did apologize. Um, he probably only apologized because William Monroe threatened to sue. You know, if, you know, Billy Joe Saunders would have chastised his son right there and put him in his place. Willie Monroe might not have sued. I think he still may sue just because he lost this fight. He can't scream a robbery. I see it might be controversial. It wasn't controversial. It was two, you know, defensive, you know, counter guys, counter punching guys, um, duking it out, and it looked like two sissies or two girls, school girls fighting. It, it wasn't a good look. Definitely a fight that never should ever happen again. Um, and hopefully they they going to do bigger and better things in their career. Maybe Willie Monroe should think about taking on Alantes Alantes Fox. Um, you know, he's an up-and-coming prospect, and Billy Joe Saunders need to do something else um, quick and tune up to get his groove back. But we gone.